Michael Bloomberg will be hell on earth to the gun industry because Michael Bloomberg hates guns. All right. I completely understand hating guns, especially if you have someone that got shot or something like that that's in your family, which I've had guns pulled on me twice and my cousin had someone shot in front of her. Like someone came to their house, shot him with a shotgun. It was pretty disgusting apparently, shot him in the stomach. And I had someone shot in, in my front yard, not in front of me, but while my girlfriend was in the front yard. So I understand fear of gun violence. Um, but I also am a firm believer that no matter what you think about my cal caliber, he only has a 380. Why would he have a 380? 380 is a smaller bullet compared to a 9mm, but it's the same diameter, and it doesn't shoot as fast. But I also have a 9mm, and I also have 38 Special, which, odd enough, it's a bigger bullet, but it's not as good as a 380 bullet. And sometimes it's not about the size of your bullet. It's about um, the, sh the way the bullet is, the way the bullet's, like, the, the ergodynamics of the bullet. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, what I'm talking about is why... Democrats should understand the importance of guns because what are we going to do? Are we going to have a constitutional amendment? The right to bear arms is removed. And then what happens? Well, if the United States wasn't the number one country for gun ownership in the, in the world, would we be um, the most likely country to get invaded? Yes. Why? Because um, are we going to like, are we going to have a, is everyone going to be a standing army, basically? Like, are we all going to join the military suddenly? Yeah, sure. Um, but wouldn't it be easier if we're all part of the military and we don't even realize it? Like, if the entire United States, one day, we have to worry about an invasion, we are all automatically part of the military. And that's, I mean, I think it's kind of confusing to some people why I, I think Glock is such a great gun. Well, number one... Um, it's a very simple gun. The, it has very few moving parts. It's it's e, it, it doesn't jam, and um, and if you ever need a replacement part, is Glock the most common gun in the United States? Probably in the world. Yes, I don't know about in the world. Maybe AK forty seven is the most common gun in the world, but most common pistol in the world is Glock. Um, so. Um, that's why I have a Glock 26, because I can fit Glock 17 magazines in it. I can fit Glock 43 magazines in it. It makes sense that I would have a Glock. But you you know what I carry is a, a SIG P238, which has a special caliber of bullet that isn't as common as, nine millimeter, as a 9mm bullet. And um, uh, 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 But it is becoming more and more common. But when it comes down to it, um, what matters is that I have a gun when I need it. And I have a gun that's not going to jam. And that's why I'm pretty sure Smith & Wesson Shield, solid, solid gun. I mean, what is it, MMP Shield? Um, there, are, there are a lot of different versions of, of the Shield. I guess the EZ is the 380 version. And then there's a 9 version for 9 millimeters. I don't know. All, all, all I'm saying is, like, the fact that our country is full of guns, small amounts of guns, yeah, like... I, I, I have very few magazines. I've only got five magazines in my entire house. But I've also got shotguns and I've also got a revolver. But but you know what I, I that what someone can do if they have a lot of magazines? X marks the spot. Go bury it. Bury your magazines. Put them in a metal box and bury them in your yard. But then you still have you still know where they are and you still have your um maybe that's what we should have. We should have a law. You can have three magazines per gun up to 12 magazines. Well, 12 magazines. Well, but what if you have so many guns? What if you're some, but how many varieties of, ma okay, you can have three magazines per gun up to 10 magazines in your house, not traveling with you, but then, um, but then if you have more than 10 magazines, they must all be different types of magazines. Oh my gosh, that's going to annoy the crap out of some people. I mean, really, how many guns do you guys shoot? I mean, I, that's that's the real question is like, I mean, when are we starting to go gun crazy? Because I'm still worried about some crazy person coming into my neighborhood and, well, not my neighborhood because they're, they're going to get blasted in my neighborhood, coming into my community and getting and shooting people. And not and us not being able to put them down because they are that good at shooting. 
because they're that trained because I understand how easy it is to get good at shooting. Um, but I also understand where someone's coming from where they're like, well, in my community, I don't want to leave my magazines with the police. And it's like, I, I do get that. And, um, maybe you should just go dig a hole in your backyard. And then that's where you like, we can have it the whole law, the whole law. I, um, as, as long as it takes a certain amount of time to access your, your backup magazines, I don't know. Because I do think people need to have the right to defend themselves, but I don't know. This is a very difficult thing to, to post. Maybe that's why I shouldn't be posting about guns at all. I feel like I shouldn't talk about guns, but then it's like, in the Democratic primary, like, once you start to realize that during World War III, you get invaded. And, like, is World War III inevitable? Yes. World War III is inevitable. Why? Because we're going to run out of oil. What happens when China tells Indonesia, we're not going to sell you kerosene anymore and then your people are going to die of water problems because they can't boil their water? It's almost like we have to go to war, but then actually we just have to let our people die because China will kill us more. And and I'm just telling you, every situation like that is, is a reality. And that's why I need to think in my head, like, who am I going to be allies with? Do I need to be allies with the Venezuelans? It's a, It's a complicated issue because... Like, we could get their oil, and we could have a, that sort of relationship, but they have a relationship with the Russians, which ruins their, their money situation. Because if there's anything that will ruin you, it's it's doing too much business business with the Russians. Why? Because the Russian economy is hell on earth. It's awful. So, a lot of people are like, I'm mad at the Americans. I'm going to go be business partners with the Russians to get back at you, because they have weapons, and we can trust their weapons. And it's like, all right. You're making a military alliance with those guys. You think that they're not going to back out of their military alliance and let you handle your own business and then realize that um, you're not as good at military as you think you are because everyone's the best at military until they find out they're not that good at military. But all I'm saying is um, guns are good because no matter what you think, like, it, like the United States is a country that can get invaded, but we can get invaded by foreign spies really quick, which we are. We are. We are way invaded by foreign spies. Way, way, way. And, and foreign spies are Americans now. Like, well, I'm an American. I mean, that's the thing. They, they, they actually have to adhere to the same, or they have to follow the same legal system as the Americans do. And that's why FISA exists. But then the American government is so concerned with people that aren't foreign spies that they're using FISA against people that aren't foreign spies and they're not using FISA against people that are foreign spies and they're sitting there going, no, no, I, I don't I don't ever see what's coming at me because I am Con Constantinian, Constantinian the 11th who was 11 generations from Constantine, which means he's inferior and inferior and inferior until suddenly he suddenly is like a little baby that gets his ass whooped by the Ottomans who are not even wearing armor. So, I mean, I'm just saying like, it sure seems like a lot of people don't fully comprehend the foreign spies thing because all they understand is layer three and layer four. Well, layer, what's, what's application layer? They understand the application layer and they understand, well, I guess some of them do GUIs, but really they understand routers and they understand like firewalls and they understand um, application layer. So, and, and I guess they understand operating systems. What is the operating system? Is that the application layer? I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. They miss the physical layer because they're like, they completely miss like what really matters for the United States security. And what matters is not being arrogant. And, and, and that's why, I mean, the importance of gun, guns should be obvious. And I feel like a lot of people are like, well, I want to be able to have a little pistol at my house or even a decent sized pistol at my house. Um, I think it's my right as a, as a, as an American citizen. It's like, well, yeah. And you know what else? A shotgun is a great weapon because even if someone comes at you with an assault rifle, they don't want to get shot with that shotgun. There's no way in hell they're going to handle that bullet. And so, but you only you only have five in my gun. In my other gun, you only have three. So it's 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 still like a reasonable weapon. But I, I I don't know. I think that a lot of people are concerned about assault rifles, and it's like, all right, I'm concerned about your magazines, and that's why um, make sure the hole is deep enough. Is, 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 is my stance on having a lot of magazines. And do I care about bullets? 
What are you going to do with the bullets if you don't have magazines to put them in? You're going to have to reload the bullets while someone's shooting you. And that's that's the real thing. Is like, I understand why people don't want to carry guns. And believe me, I will tell you, you might not want to carry a gun. Especially if you're someone like me who like is constantly in a security situation. And then the gun drives you crazy because you realize how much you need it. And, and it, it can get scary. But then you're also going, okay... I'm in a world full of people that are better at security than me and they have more information than me. But at least that they, because the reason they are better at security is because they have more information because they know who the players are and I don't. And so a lot of the time I'm sitting there going, okay, I need to be careful. But someone like Offset, and I saw this, I saw this rapper just got in trouble. They had two guns. His friends got arrested. He didn't get arrested. Someone called the cops and said that he had a gun. I don't know. Were they showing the gun off or something? Because you will never see my gun. Like, I mean, I, I can't imagine unless, like, except here. But like, when, when I'm in California, it's like very, I, I don't have a gun. But if I did, it would be tucked in the back. But I, I don't know. Um, but it seems like someone like that would need a gun. Because what are they going to do? Someone starts shooting at them. What are they going to do? They need to shoot back. Um, but that's why they should need, they need training and stuff like that. And that's why it's like, all right, the guns in the shadows thing. I don't know. That's, that's not really the way to do it. But I, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like guns are a very complicated issue, especially when you're running as a Democrat, but guess who's running as a, I'm a Democrat. Yeah. 